you just posted a brand new song so of course you're gonna take it to the instagram and post a link in your story go stream this and get this shit to 100 plays by the end of tonight and i'll drop a new snippet you then decide to go hop on some video games well you already know that everyone who sees your story is just going to go and stream it five times so that way by the time that you're done playing video games you probably already know that you're going to be at approximately 750 streams and then you can just go on and drop that snippet and then reality hits you it's been four hours and you have only gotten 13 streams what possibly could have happened surely instagram went down and no one saw your story so you decide to go and check your story what is this my normal amount of story views 384 well this is odd almost as if no one cares about my music this is an incredibly sad reality for most of us who are watching this video and me included i remember when i was around 11 years old i used to listen to these people like wit Laurie and some other people i put them on screen and i remember just looking at how they made their music and seeing all the lyrics seeing all the beats and just hearing how good it was and just thinking to myself i wish i knew how to do this like this is something i would do i would always tell my grandparents like this is what i want to do i would do like these cringy fucking dances and i would like sing to them and like show them how good i could rap right and obviously i don't listen to that stuff now I've, like grown past that but point is is that a lot of us have this dream to make music our job fast forward a few years where i was like 14 i was just incredibly bored i had this old red laptop i'll put it on screen what i had literally this is what i made my first bit of music on i downloaded fl studio and it literally was so confusing that i just closed it and didn't open it again but then a few weeks later i was like fuck this i'm broke i have nothing going for me i have no passion i don't do anything with my life so i'm just gonna figure this out and i'm gonna make some music so i watched this guy in the mix you've probably all seen him on youtube i watched his fl studio tutorial and i figured out how to make my first beat it was fucking atrocious but that was my first bit of music that i ever made so then after that probably two or three years after i made a decent income like actually like fast forward a little bit i started posting my beats on youtube and if you're an og to this channel you will remember my type beat phase where i was posting type beats and i actually progressed pretty far to the point i was making decent money but it was so repetitive it was so boring so i decided one day fuck this i'm gonna make some vocals like this was my dream i wanted to be a musician i wanted to put vocals on beats and i wanted to post them so i had a decent following on my instagram from the type beats so i had maybe 500 to a thousand followers on instagram and i decided i'm gonna post it on soundcloud i'm gonna post it on instagram like everyone else does and let's see what happens i did exactly what i explained earlier in this video and what happened is i peaked at about eight streams like people seem to care about me i thought people cared about me they showed support they would slide up on my stories respond to me talk to me all this different shit but clearly no one cared about my music now there's a reason for this and i have now figured out that reason to the point that after i figured out this reason and i applied it to myself i now comfortably can say that i can push a song of mine to 10 to 100k streams within a month if that is what i decided to do now you don't have to believe me i don't put my music anywhere on my youtube like it's pretty hard to find there are people who know what it is you don't have to believe me if you don't want to if you want to continue to keep taking the path that you take where you post on your instagram saying get this to 100 streams and i'll post my music or i'll do this or do this you know that that doesn't work for you so it's up to you if you decide if you want to follow along with this but i can tell you from my personal experience that this will change your life if you decide to apply it so if you continue watching this video all the way through i'm going to share with you everything that i know about getting streams getting fans and getting like the die hard fans that will literally give you money the one word that i need you to internalize from this video is the word value like just the word value if you can understand that the way that we obtain attention in this day and age is literally through just delivering value to people then that's all you need to understand if you start thinking in ways of how can I provide value on a mass scale? That's how I will get more streams. That's how I will make money. That's how I will get fans. You probably don't understand how to deliver value. You probably are thinking to yourself, hey, I can deliver value if I go on people's Instagram, I comment on their stuff, say fire emoji, and I like their shit. I like all their posts. Then they'll see me and then I have their attention. That shit does not work. This guy, what is his name? Adam Ivy on YouTube says, your first way to getting a thousand fans is going to be by manually going through and getting a thousand fans and then if you can get these a thousand fans to give you a hundred dollars then you're making a six-figure income annually shut the fuck up bro 
that shit does not work like that. I promise you, these it, it's not it doesn't work like that, bro. That is not how you gain a fan base. It's so brain dead. It's just a fucking circle jerk of fucking nonsense. I promise you, if you follow along with what I'm gonna share with you in this video, you will have a full time income with your music within a year. I promise you, it is not that dumb shit of going manually fucking post fire emojis on these people's fucking Instagram. It, it that is not how they fucking work. You do need to be applying the concept of value value and delivering value to people and that is how you are going to get attention think of it like this way if you don't understand what i mean if you went to new york city and there was a guy on the corner giving free hamburgers to everyone no price literally just giving free hamburgers how big do you think the line would be of course it's going to be a big fucking line like that's how you get attention in this day and age and attention equals streams streams equals money and more streams more people more attention means more fans that will give you money in this video i'm going to share with you three pillars of delivering value you so that you can pick which one you want i'm not going to give you just a blueprint way you're you're going to be able to pick which pillar is best for you now the first pillar is going to be the hardest and the third pillar is going to be the easiest i'm going to show the third one at the very end so make sure you stick around for that one now one thing i just want to preface with this is that if your music sucks this is not going to work for you i'm sorry but you need to make sure that your music is in check and if you aren't sure yet just ask someone or if you know that it's not good then just spend your time focusing on that do not try and build a fan base yet it's just a waste of your fucking time if you want to get really good at music fast go in the description in the first link i have a link to my website and on my website i show you how to make your own private vocal preset and i also share with you information about my online school where i will teach you one-on-one -on -one, i will hold your hand how to get good at music faster than you ever thought was possible so that's the first link in the description with that out of the way let's get on to these three pillars pillar one is just going to be the obvious be unique and get good at music now this is the hardest one but probably the best one the way that this one works is let's imagine someone like yeet if you don't know who yeet is then go google him he made a completely new sound he was super unique and people really liked how it sounded the problem with this is that it's pretty hard to be unique it's pretty hard to create something mind-blowing that's just out of the water brand new like it's pretty easy to follow along with what other people are doing it's it's hard to get beats that are unique it's hard to create your own sound it's hard to get people to like that sound you're gonna deal with a lot of hate it takes a lot of mental capacity to be able to deal with the fucking hate that you're gonna get because when yeet first came out everyone was hating on him the people still fucking hate him to death like it's not easy but it is incredibly rewarding if you can manage to be unique and create your own sound and then people will follow along with you and you will kind of pave the way this is the first way of creating and delivering value it's obviously just being unique being good people find it valuable if your music is new and good because it gives them a new dopamine hit that they've never heard before so it's just fucking great i honestly kind of believe to myself that if your music is good enough it kind of will do the mic it will do the marketing for you he probably didn't put too much money into advertising or marketing or anything like that it kind of just did itself right like it blew up on tiktok it was completely free for him and he, now he's making millions of dollars if your music is good and unique it probably will do the marketing for you but if you can't reach that point which i don't blame you i can't really either then you're gonna have to follow the next two pillars which oh pillar two is gonna be through entertainment now you probably don't understand what i mean by this but don't worry i'm gonna explain it in the most brain dead way that i can think of when you are scrolling on tiktok like Let's just imagine scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Oh, you see something entertaining? Okay, you're gonna give it your attention because what is it doing? It's giving you a form of value and that form of value is entertainment. If you weren't receiving any entertainment from something, you wouldn't give it your attention. So what can you do to use this for your music? Well, one, make sure that your music is good. And then two, create these little skits. You've probably seen them on YouTube shorts or TikTok. You've probably seen Lil Mabu, the Jake guy with the V, the golden hour song. I, I don't really know any other people, but you get the idea these people make these skits so what they do is they make they plot a story in their head they act it out and then somehow inside of that plotted story 
they add in their song what does this do they will give you their attention because you're giving them entertainment and then you can funnel them from this entertainment then into your music and then they'll hear your music they'll realize oh shit this person is good and then on a mass scale you've just delivered a shit ton of value and your music is valued because it sounds good so now you have a bunch of people coming from this then to your music and then they're following that funnel of listening to the music then becoming your fan and then giving you money for merch or concert or whatever so the way that you would do this is you would create a tiktok account under your music brand you would start creating entertaining skits entertaining content anything that just is entertaining you probably get the idea of what you're supposed to be doing here and then you add in your music you announce this is the song name this is how you go listen to it and then boom you have a machine that's literally generating you stream now onto the third pillar this one is by far the easiest and the best and that is teach others literally this is exactly what i did this is exactly what i do guess what i have a lot of fans it, it sounds weird for me to say that because i'm just a normal dude who just makes fucking videos but i have a lot of fans i have people who pay me money i have people who literally care a lot about me because of the value that i provide the value that i provide is by teaching i spend a lot of my day reading books as you can see watching videos on how to market how to make money how to have the mindset behind making money and marketing and what i do is i share this exact stuff with people i also share how to get good at mixing and mastering literally look what i have over here bro you see this this is the most boring book i've ever read in my life but it teaches you how to mix and master and what is my channel centered around it's centered around mixing and mastering and making music so exactly people are gonna give me their attention because i provide value through teaching them so whatever i learn i go and teach so the way that you could apply this is start a youtube channel like mine compete against me gain fans through the means of teaching them because that's value to them so they give you their attention then you will actually gain fans from that and you can make a living from that i make a living from what i'm doing here but then if your goal is to make music and you want to funnel them from teaching from your platform where you teach then you can tell them go stream my song here and because they like you because you're providing value up front they will go and listen to your stuff and if it's good you will convert them into a fan and you will convert them into someone that will pay for your stuff an example of someone that did this was aries he used to show a bunch of like how to do this how to do this how to do this and then transferred them into fans for his music and now he makes a killing off of music share this with a friend of yours who sucks ass at music and has no fans and needs a fucking wake-up call thanks for watching bro